<laughs> Hello, William Johnson here, and this is another percussion instrument highlight, not tutorial, not music video. We're actually going to highlight this amazing instrument, the calabash, the gourd, and I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. But first, I wanted to just give a couple announcements. Thank you for everyone who's watching this video and those who may have watched the Little Drummer Boy cover. That's right. Christmas has just passed and I had uploaded a vocal and percussion cover of the Little Drummer Boy with or featuring LaSherry Drawn, an amazing vocalist who is based out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. So yeah, check that out. That is the video before this one, I believe. Also, I had uploaded and continued the How to Play Bongo series. So if you are interested in that, you can check that out as well. And 2019 is quickly coming upon us, and I've got some pretty cool things. So if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I'd love for you to be a part of the subscription family or... And subscription family be a part of the William Johnson music YouTube family anyways hit subscribe hit the bell notification then you'll be notified I am working on my fourth studio album so 2019 starting in just a few short weeks I will be uploading a new song and I'll be doing that every month January February March and April as I re release the whole album but I'll be releasing a song each month along with a lyric or music video so the first song is called the road featuring some musicians that are based overseas and at well i'm here in north carolina but a couple amazing musicians like demetrius sevdalis a great keyboardist pianist based out of athens greece as well as shekinah rods who is originally from the northeast part of the united states in puerto rico uh, Puerto Rico, and she's an amazing flautist, but she is based currently in France, where she recorded for my song, and a couple of my friends, amazing musicians that are based here in North Carolina. So yeah, that's The Road. Uh, that will be in just a few short weeks, and I'll be releasing a lyric video here, or possibly music video. Not exactly sure yet, but that's in not too long from now. So that'll be on iTunes, Spotify, but also here on YouTube. So hit the notification, uh, the subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as that happens. So anyways, this instrument right here, the calabash. It is a basically a gourd, a seemingly deceptively simple instrument. It's basically a large hollowed out calabash gourd. And it is played in this manner within the western region of the continent of Africa, in the Cameroon, uh, Ghana, where they may put a, a drum head around it, and other parts of West Africa as well, Mali, uh, in other parts, the Gambia, other parts of West Africa as well, and other parts of the continent. You'll see it largely played within West Africa like this. Now, further south in the continent, like in the Zim Zimbabwe by the Shona people, as well as in Swaziland or in South Africa, you'll see them use the gourd as a resonator for the Imbira, or the westernized version, the Kalimba, or other, there's other names of these lamellophones uh, that they go by, and there's different versions, not only in the southern part of the uh, continent, but also within various other parts of the continent, but popularly played within amongst the Shona people traditionally, uh, the Ambira, and this used as a resonator. That's actually what I ordered it for as a resonator, but I decided to keep it because it sounds so good, just like this. And... The cool thing about it is I ordered this from Gardena, California, from Motherland Music, one of my favorite percussion stores. Dan at Motherland Music, you can check out their website, motherlandmusic.com. But Dan hooked me up. I believe this is about 17 or 18 inches. I don't remember. I'd have to look or, or, or measure it. But I'm playing it basically on a table, a small table here, portable table. It's actually a a dinner tray that is has a um, cushion underneath it, some b thick blankets with uh, just some wrap over it and this beautiful tapestry my mother got me from a missionary in uh, Swaziland. 
And so, yeah, depending on the surface that it's on and how you strike it is going to change the sound. You'll still get a bass sound if you play it between your legs, but it's often played on a table like this or even on the ground or on the floor. Sometimes even within on grain or on dirt. And if you can get different harmonic sounds, I saw, I've even seen one video on YouTube where there's a young lady and she has a wooden, almost like bow. She's using it like a bow with some starch. It looks like it might be cornstarch on her finger and on the actual calabash. And she's going back and forth on her finger and it's making this like a wah, wah type of sound. Uh, so, And then there's a couple other drummers in the Cameroon and they're playing a festival or wedding type of music traditional type of music and it's two of them playing one each on a gourd and there one of them is, is sliding it as he hits the drum and causing this harmonic sound which is really cool like a pitch shifting sound it's really neat so there's a lot of virtuosity that can come just from this drum so uh, it has an amazing sound and it, and it can be tweaked especially when you're using microphones. I, I'm just using a SM57, no effects on it, just the way it is uh, that you hear it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love this this instrument. I've used it on a couple videos. You can check out, uh, you can explore on this YouTube channel. But I bought this instrument online. Um, I'm from the Los Angeles area, but I actually bought the instrument from Motherland Music via their website, uh, emailed Dan, told him what I was looking for, and, and he sent me a couple options, and I told him which option I wanted, and it was about 20 U.S. dollars. So for about 20 bucks, you get one of the best-sounding instruments for that you can buy for that kind of uh, money. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard some great kick drums that cost, you know, way more than that, but... This turns out to be the right sound on certain songs, depending what I'm looking for. Yeah, so really neat instrument. It's it's a traditional instrument of West Africa and various parts of Africa and other parts of the world. There are other places where they use a calabash in different forms, uh, like in Hawaii or other places. So, but yeah. Check out Dan at MotherlandMusic.com. I'll put a little link down in the details of this video, and you can learn more about possibly ordering one from them. Great store, uh, lovely people. They're always quick in their response and getting it out, shipping it out to you. So, yeah, you, you explore a little bit with this. This uh, I have a couple other instruments that I've highlighted. This is just something that I want to do as well on the channel. I've been collecting percussion and other instruments for about 20 years, and uh, so you can imagine my collection has grown, and I just love studying the culture, the history, the tradition behind it, and, and as well as using it with some other contemporary styles and fusion. But I just, you know, well, anyways, I can go on and on about that, but... The Calabash, the Gourd. Love it. Check the, uh, the people out at motherlandmusic.com. Hey, God bless you guys. Love you. Talk to you soon.